Well, my name is Guy LeBlanc. I oversee the museum services aspect of the Wayside Inn. And what you're looking at now is the construction uh, to this point just to repair some damage done almost two years ago now. Um, it was a wind shear and uh, in this area we've had that before. We've had damage to trees uh, but not so much damage to our buildings. The very top of the steeple actually broke off and major portions of the weather vane assembly actually fell to the ground. So rather than rebuild the steeple the way it originally was, which is in two parts, they've done it in a much more stable way, uh, incorporating all the structure into one solid unit and then dropping the weather vane assembly with a rod that goes way further down to uh, secure it and make it not as top heavy as it was before. The only thing holding the original top of the steeple on was about a five inch uh, post that ran down into the rest of the uh, spire. And once that fatigued because of the wind, um, 
it tipped and was only held on that whole top section by the lightning protection system. So anything that was loose fell to the ground, including the original weather vane, which is a steel, uh, kind of primitively cut and lightly gilded uh, banner style weather vane that fell to the ground, got all bent up, lost its gilding, and two of the cardinals, two of the directional points, had snapped right off at that point too. So part of the restoration that they're doing uh, the last several weeks is to re-secure the structure of the steeple itself, but also to make sure the weather vane assembly is now structurally sound, not in a two-piece form, but a single piece uh, with a nice long rod running way down into the steeple, securing it properly, and rebuilding the directionals and the weather vane itself. Instead of being steel this time, the directionals are bronze, and the weather vane itself is uh, a customized, uh, enlarged version of this one made out of copper. So it's never going to rust, and it will be there for a good many years.